Hi, I'm Kamala Harris, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. You know that Kamala Harris is kind of allergic to interviews, but it so happens that she gave this um, micro, this show, this sketch uh, with a Wired answering how to complete Google searches. And uh, it's just a very safe way to answer some questions without the pressure of a debate or a real interview. So this is the this is the best thing that we got. But do not despair because there are solid, uh, let's say, clues in here, not only body language clues. We're, we will go into that soon. But let's see what are the signals and, and all the symbols that she wants to give away as herself, her brand, and, well, her, um, her running for president. What do you want me to do with each one? Because I don't believe in littering. No, I don't. We're okay. <laughs> Okay, that, that, that was just beginning. You know that she's she's got this uh, huge cardboard with all the uh, uh, like like autocomplete searches, and she has to peel off those things. Oh, he, she says that she's against littering. Oh, how how low abiding is Kamala, right? But let's continue. <laughs> to pronounce Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris. <laughs> Well, that, that was useful. Uh, so many people, I myself included, I used to pronounce Kamala Harris wrong, but um, it's because I pronounce it the Spanish way, and now I pronounce it the English way. I, I find that pronouncing people's uh, names is very important. But you know that she's starting with a soft topic just to warm up. Uh, things, you're going to notice that things uh, get a little repetitive pre pretty soon. What did Kamala Harris's mother tell her? She told us that um, we should never let anyone tell us who we are. You tell them who you are. She's going to use uh, these uh, patterns of uh, family, my mother. I was born in a middle class family. She's going to say the word family many times. You know that that is the brand that she wants to develop, a family woman. She's even going to talk about her daughters or her stepdaughters is the word. But again, that's how you know that the way that she repeats these motifs, these subjects over and over again throughout this interview, sort of interview, but not an interview at the same time. That's how you know that that's what uh, that's the way that she wants to be seen. Oh, she's a woman all for family and all that stuff. What does Kamala Harris stand for? I am a daughter of parents who are active in the civil rights movement. So see, in this case, what does she stand for? And immediately she goes for, I was a daughter, I'm a daughter of activists. That's another way of saying it, of hammering the family topic. This, this is gonna be like a fast and furious movie. They actually, took me when I was in a stroller to civil rights marches where they were fighting for freedom, for justice, for equality. Yeah, for DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. You know, you know that, that that's what she represents. I believe, for example, right now that one of the biggest things that we must fight for is the freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government tell her what to do. I, I, it is my question of why is this such a recurring topic over and over again with Democrats? I, I, I mean, I understand that there are medical reasons in, in which terminating a pregnancy is, is something that uh, must be done sometimes. And I, I'm, I'm a bit flexible in that regard. But uh, these people are using that concept, like if it was a subway punching cart. You know, when, when you used to go to subway and you had a, a cart that for every seven seals or stickers, you had an, like, like, like a free uh, foot long or a half, uh, half a sandwich. You know that? That's, that's how they are talking about these topics. And I would like to know an explanation of why why they treat abortion as in especially birth control that uh, i mean that I, I don't roll with it but i'm open to listen to your opinions about that topic an important moment that i had was back in 2004 when i was one of the first elected people in the country to perform same-sex marriages 
This is one of the things that I don't understand. She is going to talk about uh, well, same-sex marriages, which are already a thing since 2004. And in 2015, were made um, like federal for all the United States. And that was nine years ago. Mm, no, right? So... This is not an actual topic. This is nothing that uh, concerns people right now. So why waste time and talking about that? Well, again, this is this is the benefit of having a uh, laid back conversation in a totally controlled environment. Because I believe very strongly that the law should not treat people differently when it comes to being able to love who they love and the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. Oh, that that would be edgy in the 80s, I think. But right now, it that is like a nothing burger. Does Kamala Harris have kids? Yes. I have two. Cole and Ella became my cherished children. I, I have to tell you that this is this is this is the maybe the only part of the interview and of all the interviews and debates that she has given that she was actually she, she was actually genuine, like legit. There was a genuine feeling. I, you, watch this next section and notice how her body language changes dramatically. You know, I'm a kid of divorced parents. It was important to make sure that um, when I developed a relationship with the kids that it would be lasting. I love those kids to, to pieces. They are my children and I'm very proud of them. I think that her smile was genuine. Her feelings were genuine. I think this, this is this is, so to speak, the real Kamala speaking, and she actually feels that for her children. Uh, that is nice. We have like a baseline in which she is uh, telling the truth, and we know some like tidbits of real emotions from her, but it doesn't last long. How was Kamala Harris's life as a child? I had the blessing of having a great childhood. I grew up in a neighborhood full of families, adults who were everything from construction workers to teachers. You know, construction workers, teachers. I was born in a fam family, family, family. It's a word that she's going to repeat again and again. And um, I grew up, you know, in a, in a family of people who, you know, some were family by blood and some were family by love. A real incredible childhood. And I want the same for every child in America. Yeah, every child that is not aborted, that is, that is important to note in that one. But again, she wants to be a woman, all, uh, all for family. Kamala Harris laughing. I love to laugh. It's really important to be able to laugh at yourself, laugh with folks. And um... I think this, is, uh, this was necessary of all the times that she has uh, laughed at all the moments in which, why is she laughing? Why is she laughing when she is talking about sensitive topics? And maybe this is the way to whitewash her laugh. Oh, you cannot criticize her laughing because she's talking about the joy of life and she's gonna talk about the joy of life later, but this is a way that she makes sure that you cannot criticize her laughter because this is, this is being happy about life how can how can you criticize a woman who laughs and he, who is happy at life there are obviously moments that require serious thought and serious approaches but i hope that everybody has a moment to laugh from time to time that is that is mostly true right but she's using it to you know so you cannot criticize when she begins to use her laughter for cackling right that that's how uh, many people call it. Can Kamala Harris beat Trump? Yes, absolutely. I think what's really important um, is to know what you stand for and then you know what to fight for. Well, we still don't know what uh, Kamala Harris stands for because when we ask the question, she begins to say, well, I was born in a middle class family and that is pretty much it. So uh, that's... Uh, Something like cryptic, right? But we don't we don't have an actual an an actual uh, path or sign or some kind of clue of what she stands for, and she just says that. Well, to be fair, in this 
interview or in this sketch, she doesn't talk about how is she going to lower the price of goods and stuff. But that was interesting. You know, I come from a middle class background. My mother worked hard. She saved up. And only when I was a teenager, she was able to buy our first home. Middle class, my mother, again, hammering the same topic, those motifs over and over again to make sure that they land. And that's why I'm focused in particular on middle class families and doing what I can to uplift working people. My opponent. Oh, there, there was a, a subtle, a subtle uh, pacifying gesture in there. Pacifying gesture is when someone uh, does this. Uh, let me show you without sound. So. This, there's a, a very subtle uh, pacifying gesture in there in which uh, it's just a, it, let's say it's just an emotional an emotional display. Um, subtle emotional reaction. Just keep that in mind. It could be helpful later. My opponent, Donald Trump, on the other hand, you know, he gives tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. I stand for... Our military, I believe we have to honor their service, their sacrifice, the service and sacrifice of their families. Uh, that, that is interesting. That is great that she stands for the, the military. But sadly, we got receipts and receipts that she's not going to like once, once uh, we show it uh, and receipts like this. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this We're century. what? But let's understand. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> It was it was really funny. It was really funny the the reaction. I mean, what what is this lady saying? Where are we? And it, it um it is like proof that she really doesn't have a clue about anything. So even even the debate was a bit embarrassing for her. My opponent has called military um heroes suckers and losers. That, that is another hoax that uh, was has already been disproven, like uh, the very fine people and others. But at least, well, Kamala went, went with one new one, not the bloodbath or the very fine people. He mentioned the suckers and losers, but many of you already know that it has been debunked. Kamala Harris, policies. One of my policies is to make sure that first-time home buyers will get $25,000 in down payment assistance. Uh, down payment assistance, uh, many people say that it, it is just going to make everything cost $25,000 more. That's, um, uh, you, you, you would have to control the market as well, and that would be the worst idea. But uh, again, the other, the other proposals of her are tax breaks. The tax deduction right now for startups is only $5,000. Let's expand that and give people a $50,000 tax deduction to start up a small business. This is one thing that I got wrong, in which it's not that uh, they're going to have a, they're going to hand you $50,000 like in cash or an incentive or, or something. No, it's a tax break. It's, it's very different. Um, it helps, but uh, in all cases, um, would people be, be able to really take advantage of that? including giving a tax break to middle-class families, including um, young parents of $6,000. So you notice that she made another pacifying gesture, adjusting her hair again, could be nothing, but she's talking about those $6,000. You notice that she does something with her hand that she doesn't do at any other point in any other part of the, of the sketch, just in just in one that we have seen so far. I had to make it clear that this is not the whole sketch or video. I had to cut so many parts of the word fluff. We're just going to, well, the most important sections. But again, this is not something that she made many times. Um, young parents of $6,000. So you can just have the support you need to buy a crib, to buy a car seat, to buy baby clothes, knowing that's such a fundamental stage of your child's life, the first year of life, and we want to do what we can to, to support your natural desire to parent. That's what I tell you, not only that she hammers the idea that she well had this family, that her mother, that they were middle class, but also talk about people that 
have the natural impulse to parent a child and if you don't want to parent the child and want to you know get 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 rid of it by the process that she already mentioned you can do so yeah that's that's freedom in america that's what i get from this kamala harris gun ownership i and tim laws are both gun owners we will not take anybody's guns away um, I have I have some problems with this when she says those words when she uh, says this. Nobody's guns away. He will not take anybody's guns away. I mean that 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 way that she says no with her head that is a bit uh, sus, especially because she lingers with that denying with her head too long. You know that you can emphasize, this is something that we do in, in the Western world, we can use this to emphasize when something is delicious as well, but I don't know, I had my, my reservations about Kamala Harris actually enforcing these uh, this words, actually going by her words, because you remember, I'm going to show you this clip that, well, says otherwise, let me show you responsible behaviors uh, among everybody in the community and just because you legally possess a gun in the sanctity of your locked home doesn't mean that we're not going to walk into that home and check to see if you're being responsible and safe in the way you conduct your affair. That, that's, that's something that I have mentioned in another video that she has said so you heard that for for yourself. So in regards to the second amendment well I I won't be holding my breath. I believe that we need an assault weapons ban. We need universal background checks. We need red flag laws. We can support the Second Amendment, as I do. You see that she says again, as I do, and lingers that denial with her head. Laws. We can support the Second Amendment, as I do, and also agree that we need some reasonable laws. Well, I have I have my reservations about that. Kamala Harris, Taylor Swift. I am very proud to have the support of Taylor Swift. She's an incredible artist. I think this is going to cost her points. I've said that in a couple of videos, and I said that on X, and especially, for example, J Lo supporting Kamala Harris. That is not going to very well. That is not uh, like celebrities is maybe not the way to go. Yeah. It will land with some people, of course, that is, uh, but I think you're going to lose more moderates and more people that are uh, trying to look for an actual, you know, policy or a reason to vote for you. That's, that's my take. Kamala Harris, debate. That was quite enjoyable. I enjoyed the debate. I that was quite fake. Because, well, she just looked into the camera and did not blink. Kamala Harris, debate. That was quite enjoyable. I enjoyed the debate. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I don't think you enjoy it, but well. I think the debate showed that we have two very different visions for our country. My opponent, Donald Trump, I think um, his vision for our country is very grounded in the past. So what she means by very grounded in the past is a topic that we have already covered, but she makes sure to mention it a second time. You know, taking away the freedom to make decisions about your own body, regardless of your gender. Yeah, maybe maybe it has to do with uh, uh, the baby thing. How, how does that work with regardless of your gender? I, I'm confused. I, I, I'm, I'm really confused about Kamala this. Kamala Harris, joy. I call myself a joyful warrior. I think it is important to find joy in each other. Oh, nice. That's why you keep laughing all the time. Maybe that's the reason. In the strength that we each have to lift each other up, to build community, to build coalition. Uh, notice that community, which is a term related to family as well. There you go. Let's let's all share some joy. And then she finishes the. the sketch. Okay, that was it. We're done. Okay, let's do it another way. <laughs> so they, well, I think they had a good time at least. 
But this is the problem. Remember? I don't see any substance and we see some inconsistencies and we see what we see in this kind of uh, shows or videos is the way that she wants to portray herself especially in the family part, which, uh, well, it would have been nice if she talked about more dance and more deep uh, topics like the Middle East, for example, which it's, it's also something important. We know that the economy is the, perhaps the most important uh, part. The, the immigration part was uh, a bit glossed over, was not uh, like hammer, like just brought home, which is something that the question has to be asked and actually answered and not avoided and not, I come from a middle class family again. But well, this is the best that we got. I would still want to know what you think about this in the comments. Remember to download my 100 body language tips totally free in the description of this video and be subscribed to my email list. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I am the body language guy. Much love and bliss.